Hello, everyone. Hi. Hello. Hi. Welcome to Wax on Wax. If it's your first time here, welcome. I'll be your host today, OK Adrian. It's nice to meet all of you. I hope you're doing swimmingly. Hi, Tina. Hi, MD. Hi, Sith Lord Brit. And Sith Lord Brit, by the way, thank you for 23 months. Like, damn. That's longer than 22 months. And I would know because you were here last month for 22 months. And I thought, surely she is done. No mas. But you came back. And honestly, it's good you did that. And here's why. Look, look. You see these right here? These are unopened. All right? This isn't like when you talk about buying a vinyl. And you're like, oh, I'm going to go to Craigslist. And someone pops the trunk open and says, you wanted vinyl, right? And you're like, oh, wait. Oh, pump the brakes, playboy. We should have met in broad daylight. This is sealed. This is the good good. I'm doing giveaways for vinyls for every single show that I do. See, lockdown hit us all a different way. It hit me in a way that I kept collecting vinyls. And then I had this idea for this show, right? Called Wax on Wax. I'm like, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna buy extra vinyls and double up on vinyls. I mean, these things, you know, gaming vinyls, they, they are marked up because they know gamers are done with their money. So like, they know, like, look, this costs like 15 bucks to make. We could smell it for like 30, make 15 bucks profit processing. Let's make it $180. Perfect. Handshakes all around. So I'm giving away vinyls every time we meet a sub goal. Right now, if we hit 200, I'm giving away this Metal Gear 2 vinyl, still sealed right here. If we hit 300, I'm giving away Ikaruga OST on vinyl right here. And then it keeps going. At 400, it's good. At 500, Y'all don't even want to see a thousand. A thousand may as well cost a thousand, but it's all for y'all. I'm happy you're here. Episode one, we had Cup of Noodle here. Cup of Noodle talking about um, maybe taking vinyl that didn't belong to her exactly, but she made it hers. And that's the important thing you can do is like, this is mine now, right? Mellow Mystical, welcome on in. And sometimes you just got to do that with vinyl. Sometimes you got to tell, you know, granddad and dad, these are mine now and dare them to stop you. At that point, you too fast, right? Must you sleep? So, Cup came through. We had a great time discussing vinyl. Obviously, I love having vinyl as well. In today's show, we're discussing all manner of things. I got a brand new vinyl I want to show off. I can't wait to get into it as well. We're going to have some stream recaps next episode. That's not implemented right now. We got some new things brought into Guest Star right now, which we're utilizing. If you haven't used Guest Star, you might want to consider it. It's a great way to utilize any kind of talk show that you want to do right here on Twitch, unless you're watching this somewhere else, in which case it's a VOD. Sorry, you should have been here live. You know what I mean? Sometimes you get cool records from your folks. Sometimes you get a lot of Tom Jones from dad and granddad. Honestly, that's the wave. Because sometimes people wait for, you know, the parents to pass things down to you as a family venture or a relic and say, I want you to have this. And sometimes you just take it yourself. You know what I mean? Sometimes you don't want to wait. It's that it's Lannister hours sometimes in here. So great job, Tina, right down there for pointing that out. I don't know why feature chat's way down there. There we go. That's fixed. But the whole reason we do this show is to bring on really nice people, really nice guests. So me, I could sit here and, and run my mouth all day long, but I don't think that's as fun as bringing on someone else who has the gift for Gab as well. So I'll be bringing on a special guest. Everyone, please put your hands, your feet, or whatever everything else you might have together for our good friend, Ray Apollo. What up, Ray? Hey, what's, what's, what's going on? What's up? Hello. Hey, hi. <laughs> Great intro. Hey, hi. It's me. Your friend, Ray Apollo. Hi. Yeah. Yeah, look at this. Welcome to Wax on Wax, Ray. How you feeling, man? You know, I am, um, you know, lucky for you, I'm feeling better. I had been feeling pretty, uh, uh, what I like to like to call booty cakes. I was feeling pretty booty cakes earlier, but now mm. I'm feeling a little, little bit better. So I'm, I'm here and I'm glad that you're having me here. So thank you. Thank you very much. You want to talk about what's going on with your voice? Or... Oh, um, well, this isn't what I normally sound like. Yeah. If, if you if you know me, um, but if if you don't know me, this is exactly what I sound like, and um, I'm available for bookings. But no, um, no, I I had, I had the flu, and so um, this is this is how I sound on the flu. Um, so yeah, that's that's just your your warning. Don't let your mom hear this podcast. 
Was, was this no, one kidding. of the? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it takes. Listen to a little That's of that. All it takes. Listen, we were in the green room earlier. I, he, we joked around. He sounds like the fourth member. Of, you know, how every boy band has that one dude whose one job is to sound like this during the interludes. That's him <laughs> right now. He's the interlude yeah, dude. I see you over there. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. There's oh, always no. one dude who's crooning back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want to take you home from that ivory tower. It's ivory. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's it's, right. It sounds good. Well, thank you, Ray. I mean, cool. this be you right now. You got, um, got some likes and dislikes in here. Tell me what you like about scrambled eggs. Look, scrambled eggs are just, they're easy to make. I have a child now. So when I'm like, I got to eat. And she's like, no, you don't. I got to eat first. I'm like, you better wait. Uh, <laughs> I get, I can make some scrambled eggs real quick. And call it a good time. You can put anything you want. No, not anything. You better not put anything you want in scrambled eggs. But there's certain, there's certain, say. you know, you know, things that you can put in scrambled eggs that make them taste fantastic. You know, um, I, I love butter. Butter is great. Butter's uh, fantastic. Have, if I'm like, you know, I want to feel a little spicy this morning. I have some salsa. Um, then you know, there's other times where I'm like, you know what, I'm feeling fancy. Let's get some fresh chopped herbs. Mm. Um, throw them in there. You know what I'm saying? So Ray, it's yeah. just eggs, man. You ain't, you ain't gonna do all that. That's what I'm saying. You can do all that. Eggs are very versatile. They're they're a vehicle that can you know move and make happen a lot of things for you. So that's why you, I like scrambled eggs. Do you want to tell me why you dislike white chocolate? <laughs> Stop! Don't put the pause in. There. <laughs> you want to go over that real quick? Why you dislike white chocolate? Stop it. Um, <laughs> white chocolate is um, uh, an imposter. Uh, nobody should like white chocolate because mm. it is attempted to be um, something that it's not chocolate. It is not chocolate. It is mm. um, is an abomination, and uh, I'm absolutely upset that it exists. It's one of those things that yes, I'm upset that it exists. It doesn't. It didn't do anything to me. I'm just mad that it's real. Um, it hurts you clearly. It, clearly, no further comments. Okay, that's fair. Mm-hmm. Hey, yo, real quick, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself to the audience at home so they know what it is you do. Oh, hey, hi, audience. My name is Ray Apollo. I am a full-time uh, horny on Mater. No, I'm not really. Yep. Uh, well, sort of, kind of, mm-hmm. not really. Uh, it's 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 all really just for uh, my fans. Um, but really, I, I work at Twitch full-time as a community new marketing manager. Uh, I run the creator camp to try and teach folks about Twitch and how to get better at this thing we call Twitch. And I love to educate folks in this space and it makes me happy uh when i'm not doing that i'm a dad but when i'm not doing that i'm a scuffed streamer uh i'm a former former streamer <laughs> now trying to stream again <laughs> <laughs> former streamer <laughs> uh but no I, I i love video games i love talking about anime and manga i love chatting with wonderful people like your boy okadrian and uh, i also am uh if you did not know a, a lover of vinyl so this is why we're here. True. We are here for vinyl, right? You know, honestly, though, before we um, before we get into the whole vinyl discussion, because, you know, it's important to discuss vinyl as part of being a show called Wax on Wax, but I think it's, it's just true. as important to wax on wax, which is to wax about things, like waxing about, I don't know, again, things about you. So I'm going to take you through something really quickly, Uh-oh. right? Just give me an idea of what's happening here, okay? Uh-huh. I actually didn't use any butter on this turkey this year i didn't use any butter um mine was all dry rub and i did a dry rub and then i did a a stock glaze that i basted it with so it was it it turned out great wait my god it was so good and uh i spatchcocked it so it 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 cooked in a reasonable amount of time let's let's go back it it turned out great my god it was so good right and uh, I spatchcocked it, so it it, it cooked in. And... What you ain't never heard the word spatchcock before? No, I'm I'm a, I'm a young poor boy of West Virginia and Ohio. <laughs> so when you use words like that to me, it's disrespectful. I can't you, stand you're speaking you. over my head. I just got a can of spaghettios. What is what is? I'm not gonna say it, but what is that? You. Look, I I looked it up just like everybody else. I was like, what is this? I don't know what this means. And I looked it up and I watched a YouTube video about how to do it. Spatchcocking is essentially when you take a bird and you cut out the spine and then you 
crack the, the rib cavity so it cooks evenly. Yeah. Yeah. Did, did you notice the difference from all that work that you put into it? Oh, big time. Like, legitimately? Yeah. Huge difference. I was like, I'll never not do this again to a turkey. Um, <laughs> I, I, had a, I, got a, I got to take a big pair of scissors and cut the spine out of something. Mm. You know, hey. How much to that, that's me flexing being a human. <laughs> How much time does that add to your, uh, your cooking process? It's already actually, long and daunting. It, it actually took time out of my process really um yes because i dry brined it instead of doing a water brine which takes more time if you ask me um so it really actually saved me about an hour to do Damn. it that way you know yeah, it was dope i think you went over that too in this video a reasonable amount oh, of time God. and remained very very juicy mm. juicy juicy stop that mm -hmm. juicy. Immediately. so i was i was glad i'm like He's i don't think i'll it. ever not spash cock the turkey again going forward because it was legitimately so much easier than everybody would like lead you to believe. It was so easy. And then true. I used all that stuff uh -huh. to make the stock that I use in everything else. So we put stock in the stuffing. We put turkey stock mm -hmm. in uh, the mashed potatoes. Um, I'm pretty, yeah, like I said, I used the stock as a part of the glaze. Mm -hmm. it was fantastic, bro. It was really I'm good. Uh, tell you that again, it was last month. Uh, <laughs> good job, Pass Ray. I'm really proud of you. <laughs> Pass Ray is spitting, about. huh? Yeah, Pass Ray know what he was doing. That's my boy. So you all don't right. disagree with Pass Ray at all. Everything he no. said is right on cue. I'm never not this gonna do that time, ever again. This time, Pass Ray, he was on his shit. All right, that's I'm proud of you. Good job. But yeah, no, I'm I'm always gonna do that if I volunteer myself to make the turkey for Thanksgiving again. Uh, I don't. I never want to volunteer myself to do that. But this year, I was voluntold. Um, so. I was like, well, we're doing it my way. <laughs> they were like, but we want to see the turkey, the, the turkey cut. I'm like, y'all know what a turkey looks like. Well, no, I'm not doing that. Um, but, you know, here we are. It's all you good. inspire the masses right now. I mean, look at, look at Mellow Mystical right here. Do a cooking stream and show the masses. You got a plan to do. You know, that sounds like extra work. <laughs> yes, right here. All that work. <laughs> here I save one hour doing the spatchcock. And he ain't trying to add the hour back. Uh, I mean, as much as I would love to do that for y'all, you know, I'm thinking about frying a turkey next year which is mm. like what three weeks away oh god next next year is oh my god it um, is yeah but no yeah i'm thinking about frying a turkey for the first time because that's still one of the best ways i've had a turkey ever was fried fried so, turkey fried turkey peanut yeah. oil and a bird oh man peanut oil is the god mm -hmm. i'm telling you i'll be adding that to everything unfortunately Unfortunately, I mean, I, I mean, got look. it for a recipe because it called for peanut oil and i'm like oh this is delicious i was making some like beef tenderloin over some rice you know Added it's some so sliced good. onion and dachi and all that. And mm. then I was going to make something else, and now it's out of olive oil. And I didn't feel like going outside. I'm like, you know, I'll just use peanut oil. What's going to happen? I'm not going outside. I'm yeah. not, I'm not, I already hate going outside. Why would I add to the hey. menu of it, you know? Mm -hmm. And I added peanut oil. I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah. This is delicious. Peanut oil, God tier. Thank Truly you, is George God Washington tier. Carver, for your contributions. Thank you, Sam Carver. I thought you were going to stop just the George Washington. I almost got mad. <laughs> What, what do you think? I wrote, I wrote so many papers on George Washington Carver as a child. This is one black kid in the classroom. Who you gonna write about, Ray? George Washington Carver, because he was black, just like me. Back when teachers knew that three black people existed who contributed to society growing up. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's right. Like classroom today, we're gonna learn about George Washington Carver and Thurgood Marshall, and everyone's like, "Oh, boo!" Uh, must be October. Oh, God. I hate like, that no, school. Aren't there, aren't there three more black people we can talk about? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Shouts to Assassin's Creed. Thank you, Connor, for putting George <laughs> Washington in its place. <laughs> <laughs> putting Charles Lee in the dirt. Respect. Oh, no. <laughs> so, so, yo, let's talk vinyl, man. Yes. I asked everybody the same starting question, and by everybody, I mean this is the second episode, so I've asked two people now. <laughs> what oh, yeah. is your vinyl setup? What are you, what are you playing it on? Ooh, so my vinyl setup, so I have, I think it's what, uh, an LP60X from Audio Technica. Um, sure. Is, you know, is I think it's, I think that was entry level. If I'm talking out my ass and y'all like, well, that's real expensive, right? <laughs> my bad. Uh, <laughs> I, I think I thought it was entry level when I bought it, uh, but I love it. It's, it's, it's a great table uh, and it's easy to use. I think it's, this one's Bluetooth too. So like. Right. Every once in a while, but you, I never use it on Bluetooth. Like I never use it on Bluetooth on purpose. Uh, but like I have two, uh, was it Sennheiser uh, studio monitors? 
I have to go to it. And they are, mwah, they are, they sound so good. They're very, very, Little very Sennheiser good. Little Sennheiser action? Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. And I have them, uh, I think I have, I'm setting it up down here because we. I just moved. I'm setting it up in the basement over by uh, my big ass TV. And it's going to be wonderful. I can't wait. So, because I have, I realized when I moved that I had two mini vinyl. <laughs> I mean, no, yeah, there's no such thing. But no, I, it was, it was a lot. That box was very heavy. Uh, so. Did you know you were collecting that many at the time when you were moving? Nope. Really? Just kind of happened? Like, oh, where did this come from? Literally, it literally kind of happened, yeah. Because, um, like you were talking about earlier, and I was like, wow, I feel, I feel called out. I bought a lot of video game uh, soundtrack vinyl, like yeah. a lot. And, um, yeah, I, yeah, they got me. They got me good. So, well, <laughs> I mean, you have the dope set up, obviously, with the two monitoring speakers right there. I have to wonder, with having a small little youth in your life right now, you can't quite blast the way you used to, right? Or... Oh, no, I do. <laughs> Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> you still blasting, huh? It only gets turned down when her mom comes downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it's not a bad idea. You know, start yeah. young. They'll grow up saying, you know, I remember when dad used to play that silky, mm -hmm. silky exactly. smooth the entire time. Mm -hmm. I couldn't help but listen to it. Exactly. I mean, Ray Charles was cooking. V, 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 V was on deck. It's cooking, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but yeah, I, uh, they're like, don't you do all these special things for your first child? I'm like, I, I mean, I'm just doing, I'm doing what I think. I, and she's fine. She she turned out great. So oh, far. no complaints so, yet from her. Yeah, no complaints from her. Yeah, and trust me, she can't complain even though she can't talk. She can't. Right. Uh, but none none so far. So yeah. But mm -hmm. respect that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's kind of how I started off too. I had my uh, entry level like vinyl player that I had, and I had uh, two bookshelf speakers I was working with. And then the more and more I got into vinyl, the more I was like, wait. I want to hear it better. And I swapped yes. out the bookshelf speakers for some floor standing speakers. And those became mm -hmm. like my main vinyl speakers. Just listen to yeah, them on the two yeah. right there, you know? And then switching over to the new vinyl player that I have now. And it just, it just changes the way you listen to music. Uh, I was in, who was it? Um, Lux, who was it? Lux something, Lux someone. I feel bad now. I hope they're not watching. I call them Lux someone. But no, I was in... Lana Lux, a game developer. I was in her chat, and I was talking about one of the reasons I love vinyl is because it feels so deliberate when you play something. You know, when you go to Spotify or anything else, you just kind of say, "All right, throw up the playlist and see what happens." But vinyl is a choice. Yep. In what you choose to play. Mm -hmm. Before we moved, we did a uh, vinyl Sunday where you know we either I'd pick one or have my wife pick one. And we would throw it on. We either clean or we cook. We just hang out. It was like that's what we did every Sunday. It was beautiful. I loved it. And I have to get back to that. But you know, since I just moved, I gotta put stuff back together, which I have not done yet. So we'll you have there. not done that yet. I see your background, and I pointed out earlier how your background looks quite similar to how it looked last time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. I made this much progress since uh, I uh, was last on a camera <laughs> in this room. <laughs> I'm impressed. I mean, All Might's still up there doing All Might things, so I love that for you. So I'm, I'm, okay, so we're going to pull that back real quick. Um, that's, <laughs> like, that's not All Might. Um, mm. That's Endeavor. Um, right, the dad of uh, Bozo Hands, Mr. Uh, Fire Nice. Did you say Bozo Hands? <laughs> yeah, Bozo Hands. <laughs> Captain yes. Bozo hands. Captain yeah. Bozo over there. Oh, he's number two overall. He don't even matter. Uh, I mean, he's number one now. Yeah, after all, all my retired, but uh, yeah. he didn't earn, they didn't earn that spot. So. <laughs> Imagine being number two, and it's like, yeah, you're finally number one. Why? The other guy retired. Well, I feel I like I'm... Endeavor has that Paul Pierce feeling to him. We're like, you thought you were Kobe? They don't love you like that. <laughs> They really don't. He like, found out real quick. I love Eraserhead more than I love him, and he's not even number two or number three. I mean, and that's valid. So how do you feel yeah. that I like him more than you? I mean, he don't care. He, he that's really true. don't care. <laughs> he, he does not care. <laughs> he is a terrible. He, well, he was a terrible person. So yeah, people can change. Oh, uh, redemption uh, arcs. Don't get me started on redemption arcs. arcs. Right, Man, right. Sometimes yeah. they force us, and you're. I'm trying. To, I'm not trying to hear that. You just bad. He, he, I mean, he was just bad. He's just bad. <laughs> I don't I was, people were like, oh, he, I'm like, if you were a fan of him before, there was something wrong with you. you really, <laughs> uh, that man was terrible. I knew he had some good in him. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. No one, no one thought that. <laughs> Literally nobody thought that. Even his own children were like, no, man, nobody like him. I've been so, praying for this man's downfall since day one. <laughs> 
Oh yes, My Hero Academia. One of my favorite pastimes. It's great. You know what? Uh, I have all of the soundtracks for that on vinyl as well. So. Really? I was gonna ask that's my next question. Yeah, boy, I got every single movie that's come out so far and got the soundtrack on vinyl. Uh, and the music, it, it, the music just hits. Now it sounds so good. Ray, let's be impartial for a moment. Oh, Is man. the music good? Because you like my hero, or do you think it's genuinely good for what the music is supposed to make you feel at the right time? Yes, I feel like it. Th- that that's the part. Like it, it does the 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 feeling of hope and like hype, and then like when it's you know because of course they have the the sad tracks where it's like oh are, are they going to lose everything so bad and like it hits all the, the no pun intended the right notes right. Uh, for each score, which I love, so and that's why I bought them. I wouldn't have bought them if they sound good. I could, I could be a fan of something, but if the music ain't good, I ain't buying it. That's just that's just how it is. I, I like good music. I don't like it just because I like it. <laughs> no, that that's fair. Actually, I can like honestly, that's real talk because I have the Final Fantasy fourteen soundtrack because it has bits and pieces from mm-hmm. A Realm Reborn, mm-hmm. Heaven's Ward, Stormblood, and Shadowbringers, which to me were my favorite tracks. And right. they recently released In Walker on vinyl, but mm. it doesn't have all the same tracks that I liked on In Walker as much. And so I want to get it to complete the collection, but I'd be getting it just to be getting it, not because I liked exactly. it. Yep. And uh, I almost did that with Red Dead. Red Dead had some good, some good tracks. And One or two. Was like, it was uh, two. Okay. Two had some real good tracks. And then I was like, but I really legitimately, I think it was only like two tracks that I liked. And I was like, I'm I'm not buying that. Like, it's, it's good, but it yeah. ain't that good <laughs> i did the exact same thing actually i have the red dead one soundtrack because to me mm-hmm. like that just bangs from top to bottom the yeah, rdr2 yeah. i love it as a game but i maybe had like mm-hmm. two moments where i'm like man this music hits but the rest of the game it's, it's kind of like for me like god of war or mm-hmm. where i hear a track and i go oh yeah i remember that but i'm not actively thinking about what took place i have to be reminded of it right yeah so and speaking of god of war so i have soundtrack for that too right mostly because you know those those three notes that you know do real well. Yes, um, they do. They do so much work. Bear McReary, I think his name is. Oh uh, yeah, I think uh, yeah, Bear. Man, three of the best notes in the video games right now. But I bought that soundtrack because I was like, yeah, I really liked what I heard. But then I got the soundtrack and I'm like, oh, that was one where I was like, oh no, this music is better than I thought. Um, because once you're hearing it outside of you know you murdering weird monsters all the time, I was like, oh no, this music is actually really well done. Yeah. Um, it, it like it it did more when I listened to it outside of the game than it did when I was playing the game, uh, and then from there it just kind of enhanced the experience, which I loved. Like and so I I love that that vinyl is one of my favorites because it just it does sound so good, completely removed from what it is, uh, which I think is impressive. So agree. Um, if you if you haven't just listen to the God of War music, go listen to the God of War music. It's, and I mean from 2018, uh, it's very very good. There you go. You heard it here first from Ray. And hello, by the way, to your Rose Evergreen. I see you in the chat. Thank you for hanging out with us. Hey, I told, Miss Evergreen. I told Rose last time how we were in the audience and we were watching the drag showcase at TwitchCon, at which, the by the way, way, was outstanding. The entire oh, thing so top good. to bottom. But when Rose came out and we had our section, and I told Rose every single time we started acting a damn fool oh every God. time you switched song. From the moment we went from the window to the walls, we were cutting up. We was, we was, boy, we had so much fun. So much fun. Wow, and out. Like, every track you chose was perfect. And, like, we were all dancing and singing along, and the audience was kind of like, I, I know some of these, I'm going to sit down, <laughs> but I know some of these lyrics, yes. Yes, the melanin section had a real good time. We had a real good time. Hey, real good time. another reason you can have a real good time too is by having brand new vinyl. So what's new for your vinyl? What you got brand new? What's well, brand new? Yeah. So I couldn't, I, I did not dig deep enough in the time that I had <laughs> before we started. So the newest one I have is the uh, Mass Effect Trilogy vinyl. Nice. Uh, little big thick boy box. Yeah. Um, I have that. That was That's the newest one I got. I bought that off of a, uh, um, it was my boy. Boy Cam on Twitter. Um, Kill the Cam. Level. Shout outs. Um, and so I was like, all right. Yeah. He was like, I, because I remember tweeting about, ah, I missed it. I didn't get it. And he was like, hey, I got an extra one if you want it. And I'm like, yeah, let me, uh, let me get that real quick. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I did, uh, you know, I, I do deals like that online for a final. It's, I do it's deals good. like that online. Mm-hmm. I do deals like that online. It's, Ray. It's true. I'll help you out. I, I commit crimes. 
I mean, no doubt. What like you this? got back there? Yes, indeed. Actually, flip it over. Okay. So, uh, uh -oh. I think I got like the collector's edition. Don't say that to me. Uh, I did. Don't I'm be disrespectful. Sorry. I'm so sorry. I hate to Wait, like does that. yours like solid black or does yours have the tri-color oh, like that? My, so, uh, so it's it's color, but like, ooh, yeah, no, I got it. What do you mean? Oh, hold up. What do you mean, ooh? What's ooh? Yeah. What's I ooh? Mean, yeah, I mean, it's like, you know, that's fine, but it's not the one I bought. <laughs> I hate to do you like that. It, 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 look, it came with the... The different felt pads for the table too, so damn yeah, you got got. I didn't no, I didn't I didn't get I didn't get got I didn't got got I'm not <laughs> currently in the state of got I have no status effect of got all right I have felt tips too. What makes yours so much better than mine? Besides, did you get a steel book? Did you? It, what, does it smell like Master Shepherd? Like what? No, it, yeah, it smells like uh, Ashley Williams. Um, sorry, yeah, You're just a racist. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yep, it's that pretty sucks. bad. Yep, it's unfortunate, uh, but that's all they got. So, but no, yeah, it's like so. I, like I really bought like the, I don't know if it's like the commanders. Like it literally is like the legacy edition. So it's got all of them. I got what four? Was it three or four discs? Three, three or four vinyl in there is ridiculous. But instead of talking about that one, I want to talk about the better one anyway. Yeah, let's uh, do that. So the much better one is this is this boy right here. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. How about that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, Divinity, Divinity Original Sin 2. If you, if, you know, if you know me at all, and you, most of y'all don't because I don't talk about myself on the internet, um, Divinity Original Sin 2 is one of my favorite games of all time. And this this was one of my favorite ones that I bought, and I like, I spent a little too much money on this one. I ain't gonna lie. That wasn't your uh, connect on Twitter? Uh, no, this one, this one, this one, <laughs> this, one no, this one was me scrolling on the internet like please somebody gotta have this please please <laughs> <laughs> and i found it and i uh was like don't want to spend that much money on the vinyl and i was like well this is like my favorite game of all time so uh yeah went ahead and bought it and i i do not regret it this this is like all the discs i think are are these gold yeah they're all gold. <laughs> are they gold um, question yeah, mark they're all gold <laughs> <laughs> You out here bragging about Mass Effect vinyls and your own favorite effect collection vinyl. You're like, is that gold? I'm, it's, it's gold, but like, look at this, look at this art. Just like, they they did they did the thing. I was like, this is beautiful. I love this. That's um, my favorite part about vinyls. People can't appreciate to have it in front of you is when you see the giant artwork and it means something connected to music. You have to look at it every time you open it up. Absolutely. I mean, <laughs> oh, my other favorite one is uh. So we were talking about Persona earlier. Yeah, I did a by the Persona 5 box. Yeah. Uh, that one's, this, the art and that's pretty dope too. I like that one a lot. Um, golly. Yeah, that one, I have that one too. It has the little window pane in the front for each of the, the sec. The newest, newest one I bought? Yeah. One of the goats. Oh. <laughs> if Riggs was here right now, Sonic Adventure yeah, 2? Boy. Sonic Adventure 2. Is uh, that Shadow God. the Hedgehog without a gun? What do you mean? He's one of the most peaceful hedgehogs to ever exist. Caposaurus Rex. <laughs> no, but I, I love this. And this is the one where it's like, this is a, I was being a hypocrite where like, um, I was like, yeah, man, I only buy the ones where I, I liked, you know, all the music. Listen, I, this was one where I knew there was one song like this <laughs> that I was like, nah, I got to get this for that one song. And guess what? It's the one song they got with the lyrics inside. <laughs> But no, I, after listening to it, I was like, actually, the music on this, like the, the like the music for this, also slaps. Yeah, I was like, who, who, who gave me permission <laughs> for this to, this set to be this good? Like, I I didn't understand it, bro. And you didn't this feel that way about good. Sonic Adventure One? Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh, uh, but Sonic Sonic Adventure Two has some real good music. Like, uh, was it is the pumpkin? Ki is it was it? Which one is it's the one about Knuckles? Uh, it is. <laughs> you make him. it sound like a diss track. <laughs> what about Knuckles? Yeah, it, it, it was. A Knuckles ghost, is a, a bitch and I hate him. And he sucks. From Pumpkin Hill. Very good. I, I was like, why does this song go so hard? I was like. <laughs> why do you know that, Mellow Mystical? How do, you know, how do you just, is that common knowledge? 
uh, for folks who know, they know. Yeah. Okay. Sonic Adventure We're doing fans, that. They know. Okay. Mm-hmm. But man, yeah, no, this that entire like I listened to this entire thing, side to side, side to side, and I was like, damn, that was good. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> I respect that. Like, that's a good choice in vinyl. Like, I played a little bit of Sonic Adventure two back in the day with my Dreamcast. I never quite finished it the same way I did Adventure one. But the one thing I've always respected about Sonic the Hedgehog is that I'm never disappointed with the music. The games are always up for debate about this is my favorite one or this is the worst of the series. But I've never walked away saying, man, I didn't find one good track that entire game. You're right. Yeah. I never, I've never played this other game and been like, man, the music sucks. <laughs> right? I've never, yeah. I've never done that. <laughs> Legit. Like as a kid growing up, yeah. I would be playing it at home. Like homework can wait because this is odd numbers night anyway. So odds are always oh, back in the books. So I can just do that. I couldn't do that. Well, and, I was like, if you touch that thing before your homework's done, <laughs> you're done. And I'm tame sorry. that I ass. I always got my homework done. Yep. Exactly. Uh, so, school boy. Look at you now. Mm-hmm. Shout outs. I have a degree. That's true. Hey, C2. Yeah. Degree gang, let's go. Hey, Shout yeah. out to College of Dead. But like, it's, a, it's a great receipt. It's, um, yeah, it's great wall <laughs> decor is what it is. <laughs> but like, I remember coming home a few times, not being on the bus, and like, if I didn't have a cassette player or a CD player, I would still have headphones on. I could just hear it in my head. I could hear like the... We used to have to listen to music on CDs. Yeah. Uh, man, what a time. Remember, I'd have to walk a certain way so it wouldn't skip before I got a new one. It's oh, wild. my God. If that, if that bus was running late and I had to run to it. I couldn't listen to music, bro. Couldn't. It's all bad. I had to make a choice right then and there. What's more important, the music or the bus? Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> Until, like, one day during the holidays, they started advertising this thing called Skip Protection 4 Seconds. I'm like, well, you got oh, game changer. See, I, didn't, I, didn't, I ain't had that kind of money. I don't know what that was. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have Skip Protection money? You know, you know what I had? The skip Protection for me was four rubber bands. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a tightest thing. I'm tight as I can, so they can, the disc ain't got no room to move, but the spin. <laughs> Yeah. Uh-huh. Ain't got but no choice but the spin, and that's it. I respect that, man. I used to grip uh, that thing extra changed. tight. My life changed when the MP3 player came out. Let me tell you, who we. I thought that thing was I witchcraft had... when I first saw it. Same. I was like, once I figured out how those worked, I was like, I ain't never going back. You ain't gonna never catch me with a CD on the bus again. Speaking, so, of, I'm gonna catch you sleeping right now because look at this. Uh oh, sharing our new vinyls. I literally just got this delivered today. This is Hyper Light Drifter. Ooh. ooh. Ooh, okay. I ordered this about a year and a half Don't you ago. Love that? That, that's my favorite part about vinyl. Because <laughs> <laughs> you will order it and then be like, you, you have, you, if you're in the vinyl, and y'all have, y'all know this. Folks who are in the vinyl, you know. You order and you forget. Because if you don't, like, you're just going to be like, oh, what is it? No, just order it and forget about it. Because you ain't going to yeah. see it for about six months to a year. Yep. Like, I swear to God. <laughs> like, listen. I know they're always doing their due diligence. And, like, when I, I order, it know. says, hey, you know what? You're going to get this order to your home. It'll be here by November 2021. I'm like, all right, bet. <laughs> and then I get that email that says, hey, everyone, it's apology hours. I know what you're thinking. I'm like, I don't want to read the rest of this paragraph because I already know what you're going to do to me. I know I'm, what you're about to say. I see down in bold print the very bottom, the date. That's all I want to see. Up here, Arial size 12, normal font, skip, 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 bold, winter 2022. All right. Uh-huh. Thanks, champ. You still got- I needed to know. Appreciate it. I'm going to open yeah, it right no, now, I, live on stream. I love it. it was, I, I love that. Oh, man, yeah. There don't, we go. See, don't do this. I have been good. I haven't bought none in a while. But you, That's beautiful. You can God, be good because you can't get this right now. Wow. But I am doing a giveaway for this in the future when we hit certain sub goals. Them deals. Oh my God, them. look at the track listing on the side like that. Ooh! Hey, that's clean. It's even shaped like the game. And you know That's how I... clean. Oh my God. That's this... clean. When's that sequel come out anyway? Isn't it like next year, hopefully? Uh, who knows? Everything's coming out <laughs> next year, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Next year is nasty for my wallet, let me tell you. Game of the year is going to be in shambles again. Ugh. Look at as long as it's not cat game, we're good. You don't like Stray? Oh, Next no question. way! Uh, 
man. Look. Now, listen, I have like six questions. We're canceling three of them. We're going to have this conversation. I'm canceling Why? three of them. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have this discussion on the vinyl show. We're going to have a gaming. Di- Hold on. Look at this. Mm. Uh, Beautiful. Ooh, I love that color. That color is good. I love this. Whose man is this? Adrian, please explain. Right. Like, how? All right, Ray. Listen, the next question uh, today is. Uh, the audacity. Why do you collect vinyl? I don't care. Why do you hate cat game? I don't hate cat game. I'm putting words cat in your mouth. I'm doing a good host. for me. <laughs> no, I'm being a good host. Why do you hate the cat game? It wasn't for me. Who uh, is it for? Uh, people who like cat game. That's simple as that. Look, I played cat game for an hour and a half. Like, okay, when the game start. And it didn't. And I was like, I'm good. Did you get to the first city, Ray? I mean, is that what is that what that was? Is that is that what it was? It was that was Ray. Hey, you played look, for an hour and a half, right? I Means you got the opening with the three cats. You fell through. You were in the look, sewers. You got to find your way through the sewers. The, the first city. I was pushing the button to cut on the rug and meow and was jumping in buckets and had a little robot buddy. And then I was like. I'm good. Did you make it to the first city with the cafe and the bar and the library? Yeah, you jumping on people's stuff. Yeah. In their time. Yeah. And you. And I was like, I'm good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Look. I tell you oh, a secret. He played the cat game like a- yes, that's what I did. I played the cat game like a cat. Can I tell you something you don't want to hear? You want a hard to swallow exactly pill? What I want to hear. I don't, I don't swallow pills, but tell me what you, you want. You want a hard to chew about. pill? Yeah, what's, what's happening? If Stray and Divinity 2 were released the same year, Stray would win the game of the year over it. Actually, that's impossible. That wouldn't have happened. It would have happened. It would have been free, no. too. Mm-hmm. You would have saw the Divinity 2. You know, like in the audience, before they announce the winner, they show both people in the audience like this. And when they lose, they're still like, Divinity would have been like this. Nope. And the winner is. Stray from Annapurna Games for Game of the Year. Listen, I love Annapurna, but you know what? They would have got their ass clapped that year. Just saying. You lying. Mm-hmm. I mean, if we want to go there, I played a little game called Tunic this year. A hell of a game. Significantly better game. No, I don't disagree with that. Tunic is right now my game of the year for 2022. I love Tunic. Uh, Tunic is so an good. absolute, like, I, I ordered that on vinyl as soon as I saw it, by the way. I but, did not. And I was just thinking about it, like while we were sitting here talking a little earlier. I was like, "I shit you not." I was like, "I was sitting here like, wop wop wop." You're like, "I should buy Tunic on vinyl." <laughs> Listen, I never said the cat game was bad. I never said that people who like cat games should feel bad. I'm just saying, I didn't. I did straight one for me. It just it didn't. Nah, it didn't, I mean that's fair. That. I'm happy you shouted out to Nick because that game. I mean, a lot of games that we see behind the scenes are in production for a long time. But mm-hmm. We're talking like mm-hmm. one person with a minimum of a team of like five working mm-hmm. on one game for seven years. I remember watching like magazine. That's how long has it been? I remember just like seeing magazine excerpts about Tunic coming out. I'm Tunic. like, Damn, yes, yeah, this I was good. Like, I'm like, oh, this looks great. We ever gonna see that game? And then we was at we was at the Game Awards yes. where they were like, here's 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 the actual release date, and we all lost our minds. It was beautiful. I loved it. I'll never forget that moment. We shared that moment together. We did. We did. That's true. And yeah. like, I will MD. By the way, that's a great point. That's my bad. But listen, MD. Look, of all the people who needs to be screened for things, it's MD. Okay. Mm. Why? Because he's yeah. Canadian. Just look at him, bro. I'm, I'm, I'll be like, hey, somebody stop that man. Uh, he needs to be checked at all TSA points of entry. <laughs> so, listen, Ray. Let's get back on topic for a little bit. Why do you collect yes, vinyl? Sure. Why do I collect vinyl? Yeah. Uh, I collect vinyl because, well, okay, so. Story time. Before I started collecting video game vinyl, the reason why I started collecting collecting vinyl because the music that I wanted to listen to was actually hard to find even digitally. Uh, so oh. stuff I'm talking like, um, I, <laughs> oh boy, um, this is you learning a bit about me. That you, so we sang a lot of old choral music in church. Yes. And so um, 
that stuff is really hard to just find on the internet. But you know where it was easy to find? <laughs> in a vinyl store. <laughs> and so I'm going to go and pick up these big collections of Handel and, you know, other folks. And I'm like, okay, this is the music that we sing. And like, because I like to listen to that stuff sometimes, you know, even when I sing, because it's, it's, it's really, the arrangements are gorgeous. And I love them. And so that's really why I started buying them was to have those that music. So I mean, and I'm talking. These are vinyl where you pull out the paper, and the paper smells <laughs> old. The paper of the or the cover of these vinyl smell old. You, you just know. It's the um, old school vinyl paper where it's this yellowish oh, yeah, tint, bro. It's it's all yellow, all yeah, is yellow. Yeah. Uh, but that's originally why I started, and uh, it's because I wanted to make sure I had this music, and it would I I would always have it. Like unless something physically happens to that music, I got it. You know, it ain't going nowhere. Um, so that's really why I started collecting because it was it was me getting stuff that I knew was hard to find. Like when I would do a Google search for a song and like barely anything go pop up or a really shitty recording from somebody's phone from like 2007 was on YouTube. <laughs> and I'm like, this sounds terrible, but I think that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> I had to go and like actually find these vinyls so I could have this music and listen to it uh, the way I wanted to hear it. Um, and that was really how it started. So really, it's more about just making sure I can always have the music that I want in my house to listen to when I want to. Do you still have those vinyls that you were looking oh, for yes. on the side? Really? You oh, do? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I only bought, I, I bought, I bought a bunch. So I mean, I've got Hondo, we've got, I've got a whole bunch of, beta, like, I have a bunch of, cla like, classical, classical vinyls. Is it like, um, is it all lyrical based choral music? Or are we talking like pure instrumental, like the pure the Muezzan chanting the yeah. Anhan mm -hmm. kind of stuff? Pure, pure instrumental. Like all of it is, all of this is just music. Like there's no, no lyrics that like, it's, it's wonderful. I love it. <laughs> like that's the, that's what we, I, we sang, uh, we were professional like choir folks for years. And so like we sang all that stuff and I was like, I just want to have it. And so now we have it. Um, and it's not going nowhere. So. Okay, you were the reason I was still there by 3 p.m. Got it. My bad. Yeah, that was me. No, it's, it's cool. Like, it was our own choir. We got out of church at, like, 1 p.m., but they brought in the guest choir, yep. and, like, they would always bring them on, like, an actual concert. Like, the choir would step yep. out. Like, we got a special guest for y'all tonight. I'm like, Matt, what is this? Is Woodstock? And like, what is happening? We're going to bring in <laughs> our friends from Eastern Michigan, and y'all yep. come out with the long robes on, single file off up in there, the chords mm -hmm. down there. Y'all had an entire set list. And we say yep. amen, amen. On our own band, yeah. And we say uh -huh. amen again. I'm like, uh oh, uh oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. yeah. yeah. <laughs> be here for a minute. Yeah. Then I'm sweating, yet, So I know it's gonna be a while. Oh god. And they may not come room. to you no, on him. So see, so and this is this is kind of like side note. So I went from Baptist churches like that to Catholic churches. Woo. <laughs> Goodness, <laughs> that's a big swing of change right there. Uh, and uh, let and me music. tell you. I, the cons like the the concerts for Catholic churches last longer than church. True. And I was like, I was like, hold up, I got bamboozled. I did this because I was like, I should be. Are we good for an hour and I'm gone? No. Right. <laughs> and the thing is, it be different songs too. Like I feel like when I go to a Baptist oh, church, what they do song. is like the song is three minutes long, but they just repeat the chorus mm -hmm. of the last minutes. Like may no. not come to you want them. No, Two minutes later, no. may not come <laughs> when you want them. And then the Catholic church uh -oh. are like, all right, this they, is a uh, song 82. From like, you know, this was one that they made when Jesus actually was here. <laughs> and uh, we found it and transcribed it. And so um, here you go. And I'm like, where y'all find me? <laughs> and they don't run out and they don't repeat. There's still no. songs that I ain't heard. It's not one repetition lyric nope. in Catholic church music at all. I'm like, y'all literally was just making stuff up. And I, I respect it. <laughs> that organ beat. The only, the only happy side I had to it is that they had pews with the little little pull downs, with the leather banding down there when it's time oh, to pray. Yeah. Like you get a yeah. break, you kneel down like, oh, that leather hitting right now on these Man, knees. I remember the first time I went to a Catholic church and I'm, you know, they were standing up. And then everybody kneeled down, and I'm still standing. I'm like, what the, <laughs> <laughs> what the hell going on here? <laughs> I'll never forget that. <laughs> that messed me up. I, I told like, that oh. story on stream one time. I had to get used to the entire idea. Like, I, I was, I grew up Episcopalian, went to Baptist church, and then went to a Catholic school. Yeah, so, like, yeah. my first time going to Catholic church, I was new to everything. I didn't know, like, I didn't know there were interludes. Like, oh, yeah. going uh -huh. to a Catholic church is like having an actual, like, run up show for an actual show 
Like we're gonna have point A, point B, point C, and it's very strict to the schedule. Everybody hears that organ go do 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 do. Christ has come. Christ is risen. And then that part's done. Like it's just the twenty seconds of that, and it's done. I'm like, where's the rest? Well, like, is, it, is that it? Yeah, no, that's it. Yeah. And then they just move on to the reading, and I'm like, we have a twenty second interlude just for the reading. It is. It is such a like spectacle if you ask me like is it Catholic, like when i went from a baptist church to a Catholic church, it just like it blew up i was like for real this is this is how y'all do this i'm like this feels like a meeting rather than you know church. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it feels like I'm like this, this literally feels like a meeting I'm like oh, okay cool. Cool, cool 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 all right yeah the uh, the, <laughs> the community cool 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 cool, cool. <laughs> yeah and honestly, so, Tina, yeah, you so, spit so, yeah, into sorry for the tangent, but yeah, that's the original that's hipster music from before Jesus was cool. Oh, Lord, yes, that's what you uh, are. Extended cut is just a loop. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Yes, that's an interesting origin story, though, of why you collect vinyl was for that reason. Uh huh. Uh huh. Nice. Yeah. Do you still go back and listen to those? I do. Yep. Okay. I nice. Do. I mean, it's just it's just because it's good. It's just good music. Yeah. I'm I'm a, I'm a big. I just love music in general. Uh, I have a rule. I have a, a lengthy history of music. And so it's like, yeah, I, I just like music in general. So yeah, I listen to that stuff. Uh, like, uh, I would say at least a few times a year, for real. So yeah, there you go. You can appreciate it. I mean, even if you're not into Catholicism or baptismals, things like that. I mean, you can always go music, into your discussion music. of separating the art from the artist. <laughs> if, you, if you just like the, if you like the music, but you don't like the Christ, then I guess you just... <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, we could go into that conversation. <laughs> We're going to have the conversation right now. <laughs> just that's the route we can go. <laughs> That's cool that you listen to music from that way too. Like, did you always start off with the the, the big vinyls too, or did you have the little smaller cuts? It was always the thirty three and a third, or did you no, go? No, it's always like some of them. I'm, the I babies. Remember I, started, I remember when I started like buying them. Uh, instead, of, like uh, and I bought one, and I was like, it showed up, and it was like a what was it was a it was a twelve, I believe. Well, I don't remember what it was, but it was it was it was small. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> Did, I, did they just trick me? Did they did they just steal my money? I was like, oh no. And uh I remember calling my brother and I was like, hey man, like what what did they did they just did I just get swindled? Did I get bamboo? And, like, and he laughed. He's like, no, bro, just flip the switch because it's a different size vinyl. I'm like, it's different, it's different size. You thought like, you got the uh, cereal box version. Uh, yep. I thought that they, I was like, they sent me a your fake bottle. I was so mad. I was like, <laughs> I spent money on this. Ah. <laughs> so, no, he was like, just flip the switch and put it in there. It'll work just fine. And I was like, oh, okay. I'm glad we yeah, figured man. that out, man. I'm proud of you. Oh, man, man, that was, I, I was real mad for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Not the vinyl <laughs> demo disc. That's yeah. exactly what it felt like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like what happened? You want to hear Naughty by Nature and Beastie Boys? You can hear 10 <laughs> seconds is what you can hear. <laughs> Wrap it up. <laughs> oh, God. Well, this has yeah. been like a, a fun little first half of this. Uh, what I want to do is give people a quick little time, get a five-minute break to get their sweat off their face or get some drink in this system. Maybe you're currently at church watching this instead of listening to Pastor. Do you? Shame on you, first of all. Yeah, yeah. I mean, not me ever. But couldn't be, could be me. No. Honestly, I, I've been at, like, you know, I'm a handheld gamer world. all my life. I tried that <laughs> once, never again. Yeah, couldn't do it because you know, handheld games aren't as big as they are, or not as small as they used to be, or they are now, rather. So, like, back in the day, I tried sneaking the, uh, the Steam it's Deck, a monster. It is. I, I have a whole conversation about that, but I tried sneaking in a Game Boy to church one time, and it did not go. <laughs> Mom caught that in a heartbeat. She gave me, you know, when you hear the name, like Adrian. I almost doxed myself. Adrian Blank Foster. Is that your Game Boy? I'm like, oh. Oh, no. But the thing is, I was courteous. I waited until like 1230. I've been but there for I a love, minute. It was all, it's always the, is that your Game Boy? And it's like, they say no. <laughs> and they, but they ask anyway, and I'm like, oh. Yeah, uh, I was in that position a few times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't get it back for quite some time. Let's put it that way. I got something else instead, though. <laughs> But all of you right now are watching the God like Ray Apollo. Take the time to go ash your ankles up and get some lotion on them or do what else you got to do. We're taking a break. We'll be back momentarily. V. I said, Stray, why don't you just adopt it? <laughs> oh, my bad. Hey, 
Uh, mm. hey. Got you slipping, huh? Hey, how you doing? Hi, hi. Hey, hey Ty, yeah, I saw you in here. What's up? Hey, it's good to see you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for. Oh, uh, dang, I missed Ray. You didn't miss Ray. Ray's the star of the show. Here. Hey, no, I'm not. But I'm just, I'm just here to, you know, you know, help share the limelight with this beautiful person right here next to me. Uh, I did it the wrong way. This way. There you go. Nice. Yeah. There you go. That's why we have tech chicks. <laughs> that's exactly what we have tech chips bullshit like that so in case you all didn't catch the first half of the show we talked to ray as far as what his uh vinyl setup was this guy's two speakers right there sennheiser's right there he's gonna upgrade that too he's got it next to the uh ba tv the big ass tv you know everybody has that everybody has the big ass tv and the good couch look when i bought this house i yeah. said I walked into the store and I said, what's the biggest TV y'all got? Oh, you did that? Oh, I did that. I was like, I'm at that point in my life. I've worked hard enough. I said, what's the biggest TV you got? He said, oh, it's the 85 inch over there. It's like, gift wrap it. It's for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's for me. I'm surprised you didn't slide that man's or that person some extra money and be like, you got an 85? Oh, okay. You got an 87? No. So, look. There's a 91 inch that I've saved room for. <laughs> you wait, wait, hold up. You oh, saved yeah. room for? Yes, I've saved room for a 91 inch TV. Yeah. Ray. Yeah. Right, Tanya. How big are your walls? Big. <laughs> 91 inches. 85 wasn't enough. No, I mean it is. But then I found out there was a 91, and I have space for a 91 inch TV. So. You know, I respect yeah. that because according to my access, there's a lot you can do with six more inches. So, <clears throat> wow, yeah, ooh, yeah, mm. never heard that before. Yeah, me either. It was a, it was a joke. Um, it was a joke. Oh, you sure? Okay, that's it fine. Was, it was just, just jokes. So, oh, oh my bad. Um, my bad. we talked about your vinyl I'm setup. Gonna come get more <laughs> <laughs> we talked about. <laughs> What's new in your vinyl world? And we talked about why you started collecting vinyl. So all that good stuff right there. Which brings in the next question, Ray. Yes. What's your collection grail? Now keep in mind, there's two questions like this. What's your missing grail? What's your collection grail? Collection grail is in your collection, what's the one you have that's like, ooh, this is my baby? Either the one that means the most to you or the one that's worth the most. Don't dox yourself in case somebody wants to like stick you up. It's Robin season, so... I got cameras all over my house. I wish you would. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, ooh, that's tough. Cause a few of them that I know, I know for a fact was limited, like limited, limited. Um, not Mass like Effect limited. No, no. Right. No. Of course not. <laughs> not that. Uh, Cause I, I mean, so the Divinity one, the Divinity that that it was pricey, but like you could find it still if you wanted to. I'll tell you uh, what, I'll give you some time to think about it. I'll go first. I'll show you one that I didn't show last me, time with Cup. Let me see, let me see that. Let me see. Let me while well, I think about this. This is my Grail. Nope, not that. That's actually not a Grail. Ooh. Should I like this a lot, but it's not a Grail. I have to say, hold up. If yeah. at first you don't succeed. Jeez. Oh, this actually is my... This got the wrong one. This is actually pretty good, too, though. <laughs> it's red, but it's not that one. This one. Nope, that's the wrong one, too. Ray? Look, I... Look, I... Hey. Uh, Here it is. I appreciate you for stalling for me. I appreciate it's that. It's my job as a host. This is my Ooh-wee. grill. I think I actually mentioned this last time with Cup and Noodle, but I bought this before I had a vinyl player. Oh, wow. When, when Rockstar had a website. Because when I played this game, there was never a moment where I wasn't like, this music is outstanding. And then when you head over to Nuevo, uh, Nuevo Paricio, which is Mexico in the game, off the raft with Irish, and Jose Gonzalez starts singing Far Away, it was the best moment I'd experienced in, t- in a game at that point as far as narrative. When John Marston gets on his horse to Mexico for the first time, and that, that bass line starts hitting, and that step in front of a runaway train starts yeah. playing. I was like, this is the most godlike game I've ever played in my entire life. And it was that crispy red, and I had to get it. And now this bad boy goes between 
depending on the quality and condition, between 550 to 1500 for this. So this is like my wow. baby. Wow. So, <laughs> good lord. Um, so I just had to do a quick check. Okay. Um, and for the version of the Divinity vinyl that I have, yeah, it's Divinity. Um, goodness gracious, <laughs> I did I did not know that that price had gone up that much. Nice Kratos. Um, in the impression. <laughs> boy uh in the amount of time that uh i've had it goodness gracious so yeah i think i think it's gonna be divinity really the one you showed it yeah, yeah, yeah. baby yeah 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 yeah. um this one is apparently uh, uh they did not mat uh, enough of these so um yeah goodness gracious so you just got all the main characters uh so i was like oh this is beautiful and then there was so- there's actually a ton more that it came with that's like in it uh that I, I dare not touch because who knows what that's going to be. So you know, uh, I think one of the one of the biggest crimes, honestly, is when you have a game that has a lot of music in it, like Final Fantasy fourteen, like Persona, like Yakuza. You can't get every track in the game. Does that Divinity soundtrack have enough the music in the game that you like, or does it have every track potentially? Or what? it's got every track, really, every single one. Yeah, it's wild, and the music is just good. God, it's so good. There was one, and then just kind of another beat into why I like this. There was one song in particular where it's like, you have the entire game where the music, there are no lyrics. And then you hit one point in a certain character's arc where all of a sudden there's a song that now has lyrics. And it is 10 times better when it was already fantastic. And I was like, God damn, I gotta have it. So that's the, that's when I started searching for it. And I found out that it was expensive. And I was like, well, it's worth it, I think. <laughs> do you do you have the soundtrack to the first Divinity, or is it worth it, or do you care? So, I mean, I care, but not as much as I cared about 2. Okay. Uh, 2 is still currently, I think, like, if you ask me, Ray, what's your favorite game of all time? I'm still going to say Divinity Original Sin 2. That's, that's what's going to happen. So, okay. that's why. Yeah. I keep wanting to play that game because, well, I... I want to play it, but I want to do a co-op with someone. I don't want to do a single player, but I feel like I mean, it's going to I, take forever. I sherper people through that game all the time. <laughs> and, uh, it, it take it took it takes a few months. Don't get me wrong, but it's very it's a very good time. It's a very good time. You, how long does that take? So it depends. On, like so, I mean, most of the folks that I did it with, they you know they parents. So time is fickle, uh, and so but like we if we play it if we play it consistently every week. I think we could do it, depending on, because <laughs> that game has different spikes of difficulty depending on if you're prepared or not. Okay. Uh, if if if, because I asked folks, do you want me to help you play the game, or do you just want to play the game and I kind of point us in the right direction? Good question. Ask. I'm just pointing us in the right direction. I mean, it could it could take. Some sessions could be like three hours and we get through like one act barely. Hell yeah, that's my kind of <laughs> so, game. <laughs> uh. The divinity is 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 something else, but I feel like you, we could. I think the last the last one I did, it took us six months, uh, to get through the entire game start to finish. Was that like an eighty percent completion or a hundred percent completion? Yeah, that was, a, that was an eighty percent. Yep, oh 80%. wow, six months. Well, yeah, I guess we're playing like how often did you play? So we played every Monday. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah. Yep. That's not bad at all. Like playing, what's yep. that? Twenty four times. That's and not was, bad at that all. That was and that was four people. So. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's tough. Yeah. 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 So did you, was there a new game plus option? Do you carry over your stats or you start from the base level? I start, I start, I start fresh. Everybody starts fresh uh, when we do it. Cause it's just, it's way more fun to do it that way. Okay. Um, and everybody gets to pick their class and do what you need to do. And it's, I just kind of fill in. I'm like, I, I, I see what everybody else picks that I, f- I fill in for where, where I think y'all need. <laughs> so. That's the smart gamer inside of you. I can just, I can play whatever you want. The Overwatch player, like I can be uh, DPI, I can be tank, I can be healer, whatever you want. Uh-huh. Oh no. It's Cause I'll, Either I'll build a custom character or I'll play one of the built-in characters and it works out just fine. I'm right there with you, by the way. I'm Deep Fried Water. I love that name, by the way. I'm Deep Fried Water. Good. Original yeah. Sin 2 is in my backlog for sure. It's I don't even own the game. It's on my want-to-buy backlog, and I haven't bought it yet because I know once I buy it, it's not going to be backlog for very long. <laughs> it is a game that I think everybody who plays on PC has played like tactical, like 
who loves RPGs plays tabletop RPGs, you should play this game. Okay. You should. Uh, it is it is that good. Okay, so that's your collection grail. Oh, yeah. Respect. Yeah, that's, that's it. Two plus six equals equals eight. Smurf you. Matt, Matt, thank you very much. Matt, hard, bro. We have a poll going, by the way, right now that you all can take part in for our mystery question later on, should you choose to endeavor yourselves to that. Now, Ray, on the topic of grails, we go from that to what's your missing grail? What's that one vinyl you keep looking at? Like the kid walking by the store, you keep pointing at it. Mom, come on, we're late. You fogging the mirror up, the windows up. I don't even have to think about this. It's oh. the original near Automata vinyl release. I am forever mad that I did not get that when it came out. <laughs> Why didn't you? Because it cost $5,000? I, <laughs> I mean, part of the reason, yeah. But, you know, also it's just like, oh, do I want it that bad? And then I'm like, yeah, no, I I, I should have bought it. I should like, And now I look at it and I'm like, I can't justify spending that much money. And I'm like, but I could. But should I? And then I look at my wife and I'm like, ooh, no, I should do that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you can't really listen to the automatic soundtrack when you're 91 inch TV, can you? Uh, nope, can't do that. Yeah, she'd be like, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> No, it's a good choice, though, because that game is really good top to bottom, both in it's audio and visual so, and, and everything. And the music is phenomenal. God, I love the music in Nier. Nier you know, makes, well, like, the good news is I can't flex you about that because I don't think I have that. So, Oh, thank God. Because uh, I, I, I might have left. But, uh, and Replicate don't count. You get that. That's fine. But no, I want the original Nier Automata vinyl pressing and... Uh, uh, I'm trying to think how much was that? how much is that now? Let's use the, let's use our future machines to find out. Um, so the original vinyl, if I was to try and buy one, they start at three hundred and fifteen dollars. <laughs> Man, that's a lot of money, Ray. It is. I'm gonna fight you. Why would you want to fight me? I don't understand. I uh, yeah, I share love. I show love through violence. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm just I'm trying to find something, but I have just these things in the way right now. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. I was looking at this soundtrack for uh, what is this? Dak Dakatana, I think it is. Uh, oh, oh yeah. Hey, have you ever heard of a B3 Pascal song? Mm -hmm. Your entire life? Maybe. Maybe. Remember earlier that Mass Effect garbage you were giving me? You saying why am I like this? You should have been here earlier. With me, my humble offering of my Mass Effect Trilogy vinyl, trying to share a moment of love with my friend Ray, saying, I also have a Mass Effect vinyl, Ray. Isn't that great? We should be friends. And he's like, my mom makes more than yours, pushes me down the ground, steps over me. My dad's stronger than your dad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a really good soundtrack, though, so I, don't, I can see callback. why you made it your it choice. Good. Yeah, uh-huh. So mm. one day I'm going to buy it. One day. Maybe, maybe Santa. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. I'm Santa now. That don't work no more. <laughs> maybe if you're a good Ray on Maine, on Twitter. Oh, man. Then... <laughs> I, I'm Santa now. That does not work anymore. <laughs> man, I tell you what. I, I, I got it in a repressing, actually. So it's kind of like, like a Square Enix website had a re-release of it. And I would not be surprised if they do it again pretty soon. So it's something to waiting. keep in mind. I'll be waiting. Oh, and thank you, by the way, Ray of Light, for gifting this up to Deep Fried Water. Nicely done. Yeah, We're 25 deep away. Fried, deep Fried Water. Oh, and you talked man. about deep frying a turkey earlier, so all you need is some deep fried water right there, and you cooking. Do not put water in oil. You'll die. <laughs> I've seen that video before. <laughs> the dude I've in seen the... that video, too. Don't do that. <laughs> that dude in the hat. Oh. oh Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. Uh, the oh, more you know, kids. Yeah. Tanya's making a good point, actually, right now that perhaps we had not considered earlier, which is amending to why are you both like this? I mean, that's very fair. Actually, very. Um, that's very, very, very fair. I mean, if you've ever seen us in the same room, which is rare, uh, let me tell you, it's, it's a time. <laughs> It's a no recording allowed time is what it is. No, it's for real, though. No, no, no recording. <laughs> no recording allowed. It's, 
uh, and nobody's safe. I just want everybody to know that. When we're in the same room, nobody's safe. You know what? Actually, I realized that my last time, episode one, I didn't get a chance to spit about my uh, my missing grails. And oh, yeah, one of them, well, one is Outer Wilds. <gasps> Not to be confused with the Outer Worlds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, but Outer, no, outer okay. Wilds. <sighs> yeah. That's one of my favorite games of all time. That's a good one. I played that game, and it's not just the music and the humming and chanting that each of the uh, explorers do when you find them, uh-huh, uh-huh, but it's yeah. the music the entire game, because the fact that you have like 21 minutes until everything resets, every bit of music matters to me in those so moments. Good. And It is. That, I, you know, fun fact, the music is what kept me playing that game. <laughs> oh. <laughs> because let me tell you. That, that spaceship shit was not keeping me playing that game. <laughs> 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 it's like if I fly into a black hole one more time, uh, yeah, uh-huh. yeah. That, uh huh. That that like it's the weirdest thing in the world. That unnerved me a bit. Like I know when you go into the black hole, you get spat out to the other side of the uh-huh. universe somewhere else. But whenever I saw yeah. the black hole, something inside of me got nervous. About uh, just yeah. seeing it, like imagining it, going, I don't want to, like, like that's bad. Everything about those is not good. <laughs> right. The fact that it has a, the, the fact that there's a thing called the event horizon, it has a name for the point of no return. And that's the uh-huh. definition of it. How do you yep. give something a name that says, this is it? This is yep. the point that's, of no return where, where nothing escapes. Not light, yeah. not you, not your thrusters. Uh, nope, nothing not- needs a name called the nope. point of no return. Nope, don't need that. Let me tell you, Interstellar messed me up, bro. So, uh, <laughs> did you dirty? It did me. That did me so dirty, bro. I, I watched that movie on a flight when I left. I was I had we had just had to. Baby had been she what what he was six months old. Had to leave for work for the first time. I was like, oh, let me watch Interstellar for the first time. Mistake. Don't ever do that. <laughs> Ooh, boy, it messed me up. Had me on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. It's okay. Oh God, boy, I was a mess. It was. It was all I've bad. heard things about that. That's also on my backlog of things to do because there was that fantastic movie. Don't get me wrong, incredible movie. But ooh, you gonna feel stuff. There was like an eight year period, I think, where I saw nothing but space advertisements because like there was Interstellar, there was The Martian. Yeah, uh, there was, was Elysium. Bunch. There's Prometheus. Elysium, gravity. So there was a bunch of them. So I didn't see uh, any of them. Just... Interstellar is the best of them. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but golly. That's the Sandra Bullock that one? Hurt. It's, uh, is that Gravity? I think that was. See, something. Gravity and Interstellar to me are like the Prestige and uh, the other fucking yes. movie. Yes. You are right. It's the same You're thing. Right. Uh, uh, but the Prestige is clearly the better one. It absolutely 100,000% uh, is. But yeah, you're right. Uh, golly. But yeah, no. Uh, Watch it, Stellar. Just be prepared to like for it to hurt. <laughs> I'm okay with hurt. I can use some. Hurt. I was, I was like, I knew it was like, I was like, like people was like, hey, you know, it's gonna make you feel. But I was like, ooh, I wasn't, I was prepared for trouble, but not like this. <laughs> and yes, Tina, you're right. Good. That was that was one of the ones I listed. It was Interstellar. It was Martian. It was Gravity. It was Prometheus. It was Elysium. Like oh, yeah, all them joints. Too? Yeah. They all came, yeah, they all came out the same year. That's like, wild. Bop, 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 Movies is, they'd be like, movies are such a wild thing. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh-huh. But Outer Wilds, that vinyl released once from IMA. Once. <laughs> once. <laughs> once. And your boy was like, no problem. I'll just go on the eBay marketplace. They have vinyls. And then they were like, how about 450 I said, on this planet of Earth in 2022, during lockdown? No one has money during lockdown. And they said, all right, bet. Well, one got sold. So now the next one, of course, called 480. Uh huh. And I knew it was bad when I'm going to like the, the vinyl Reddit. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm down tremendously going on you there. Down, you down real bad. <laughs> and I wasn't alone. I did a search for Outer Wilds and I see threads saying, hey, any news in the re release of Outer Wilds? They doing this. And I am a bit be doing cheeky stuff like, Hey, poll today. How many of you would like to see uh, Outer Wilds re released? I'm like, <laughs> it's got to be it, right? In July, oh. nothing happened. In August, nothing happened. You better stop doing that goddamn poll, I mate. But if you ain't going to release it, quit playing with me. Quit playing with me, but they got you, though. You know what happened worse is that I did the uh, ID at Xbox show, uh, and I was hosting that. 
uh-huh. and uh, I Am 8-Bit in collaboration with Skybound Games in collaboration with Coin Crew Games did the game Escape Academy. And they oh, had me God. play that on, on the air with uh, Andrea Renee. And they liked my presentation oh, so much. Sure. They were like, hey, we're going to gift you the game. Why don't you play on your stream? And then I Am 8-Bit followed me on Twitter. So the first thing I tweeted... <laughs> No, we take every opportunity to get what we want. I <laughs> the first thing I tweeted after I saw that follow. Thanks for the follow. I made a smiley face. How about the Outer Wilds vinyl while we get <laughs> They haven't unfollowed yet. But I made sure they knew right away. <laughs> I uh, I did a similar thing when uh, a whole bunch of people from Larian, people who made uh, Divinity, followed me. <laughs> I was like, hey, first of all, love this game. But, you know, spouted out some random bullshit about, <laughs> about Baldur's Gate 3, which is coming out next year, and everybody should play. Um, so I was like, yeah, no, I'm uh, expeditiously need this. So I, I'm waiting for the day that they're like, hey, um, there's a vinyl coming out for Baldur's Gate 3, and I'll be like, yes, I'm paying the, the actual MSRP for this one. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you know like, it's gonna look I, good too. I, I know, and I'm like, I ain't paid over sticker for this. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I ain't, we ain't doing markup. Uh, uh, not this time. Take no, care, no, Tanya. No. Sleep well. Yes, have a good sleep. Nice nah, respect. Outer Wilds is right now my number one grail item. That's wild. I don't know what I'd do for it, but <laughs> I, don't know. I mean, uh, I could think of a few things. I I want to watch it back. All right. Nah, so hey. Our last question of the evening, because we do six, is the chat poll question. Oh, boy. And I had a chat poll where chat I asked ask oh, four boy. different choices. Okay. The choices were asking Ray, what anime needs an OST? Oh. What movie needs an OST? Oh. What game needs an OST? And the winner, the matching game, which is a mystery question. And that's the one that won. I know. Go. Con- no. Confused Y'all are the worst. <laughs> what? Um, the mystery question? Yeah. All those other ones were just fine. And you were like, no, let's ask him one that we don't know about. <laughs> yes. 100%. <laughs> so. Oh, Hit me with it. With that being said, the matching game is actually kind of fun. I was hoping we'd get this one. The idea of it is, is I want you and chat. Oh, boy. I apologize, Chad. I take it back. You're great. I love you. I want you and Chad to pick a video game, right? And if you could take any artist and have them do a song for that game that you think would fit the mood of the game, who would that artist be and what would the game be? Because we're getting a lot more of that lately. Like back then, it used to be a strange thing. I mentioned it plenty of times before how I heard David Bowie in Omicron, which was David Cage's first game. And I'm like, what's, what's highly respected David Bowie doing in a Dreamcast game? Like randomly. So you have all these really unique artists who are putting their talents in video game soundtracks that you didn't expect, or even low indie artists like Moving Mountains or Jose Gonzalez. So we'll ask you first, Ray, and we'll ask chat. If you could pick any artist to do a song for any game, what would the artist be? What would the game be? And chat, the way you're going to do this to participate is I want you all to choose an artist and I want all of you to choose a game. Stop it. (laughs) And we'll, we'll snatch, we'll try to match them up the best we can. Shout out to Low Roar. I, I felt hipster because I had heard of Low Roar before. Death Stranding. I did not. I was like, oh, I didn't realize. I actually choice my dad. I know of the, I Excuse me. I have known of these folks before any of you. That's have how, none of you heard of them before? None that's of how you, I felt uh, in Red Dead. I, I was like, that's Jose Gonzalez. I knew that. I went to Best Buy the next day because I was working there. I heard Jose Gonzalez. Who's Jose Gonzalez? Ah. Ah. That sounds like homework. It's, it's community participation. Huh. This it's, is tough. It's a tough question, right? So I'll tell you what. We can make it easy. Chat, throw out a random game. 
Actually, it's not. It's, it's really not that hard. For Throw me. out a random video game. We can choose an artist okay, you think would be great. Oh, you got um, it? Game, Doom Eternal, or just Doom 2016. Okay. Uh, Lamb of God. If Lamb of God made a game, made a song for Doom or Doom Eternal, it would be perfect. And Aren't they in Metal me Gunslinger or Hellsinger? Uh, they might, at least the lead singer might be a Metal Hellsinger. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of overlap no. there, then. That would work. I think that'd be dope. You like Lamb of God? I mean, I'm, uh, I, I dabble, you know? Yeah. I, I, I dabble. You have a little, yeah. little bit of expertise there? Yeah, a little, little bit, a little bit of a little expertise something, there. something. I mean, I mean, but ne- next is, uh, you know, uh, Kill Switch Engage would have been a good one, too. Oh, yeah. I, I do love yeah. some Kill Switch. But Howard, H- Howard Kill Switch Engage. Yes. Uh, yeah. Would have yeah. been, that's the pick for me. Yeah. 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 That's the only version. Yeah. Ooh. I mean, I, much respect to the other guy. It's fine, but no, uh, he's good. Horizon Zero Dawn, Scarlet Riot. What do you mean? Oops, that's a connect. Uh, yeah, that's a connect four. Maybe connect three. Space, Space Channel Sh- Five <laughs> with Ooh La La. <laughs> the homie Ooh La La. Uh, ooh, what should be in for spoken? Ooh. ooh. That's a good one. That I is like good. That. Hmm. Utada Hikaru. Fitting. Yeah. For sure. Yep. I, I fucks with Hitaru. Hitaru. Utada Hikaru definitely for, for Spoken. I, I want that real bad. We deserve that. <laughs> um... That's a really good question. I would like to hear Lauren Hill in Forspoken. I would love that. I would also love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because as way as I understand the story is that she's sucked into this world. She doesn't know how she got there. She has to find out what the rules are. She's trying to adjust (laughs) to it, how she has the powers. People don't understand They just took an isekai and they were like, let's make it a video game. And I was like, (laughs) yes. Ship it. I want it. (laughs) There has to be a moment probably in the game, I'm guessing, where she's probably like sitting on a castle or a gargoyle overlooking the Great Plains and she's wondering if she can truly save these people or live up to the expectations that are given to her, right? Because that's, that's probably what's going to happen in the game at some point. I would like to hear Lauren Hill in the background telling her everything's going to be okay and that she can do it. Style music. I like that. Yeah. Like, you know, it's that, it's that moment of she found a way, like she has a way that she can go home now and like forget all these problems for yes. these people because these problems ain't hers. And yes. She's like, I can go back home. But then it's like, nah, girl, you got this. <laughs> exactly. That's the exact kind of vibe it be. Nah, girl, you got this. Exactly. Yeah, I can see that. I'd be about that life. Tade Hikaru is the queen regent of your childhood. I like it. I like it. I thought I posted out a turn. No, no, no. I like Space Channel 5. Space Channel Ooh, 5 means... I apologize. Yeah, you're right. They did come out as not binary. That All is right. very true. Yes. Good point. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, for Space Channel 5, I'd have to do Bruno Mars. Look, so the Silk Sonic vinyl gets a lot of play. True. <laughs> it, it, gets, it gets a lot of play in this house. It most like, certainly well, does. Like, so right before we moved, it's all that, that it, was, it, was, it was glued <laughs> to the player. That was the only one I had going. Uh, God, it was good. So good. I, for myself and J Rock the God, kept giving each other updates on news we heard about that being released because it kept being one of those, we're going to do it one day. And to yeah. me, it started turning into Frank Ocean Channel Orange release one day. <laughs> and there's one that exists, but it's not official. It's not real. It's oh, bad pressing. No. It's fake. And yeah. that still doesn't exist. And I thought Silk Sonic was going to pull a Frank Ocean and we'd never get no, it. I'm, gl- I'm glad that they, I'm glad we actually got it because it's a God, I love it. Silk Sonic. Is, whew, that's, that's one of the decade for me. I ain't going to lie. Like, that is literally one of the decades for me. That's so good. It it's is an incredible. It's one of the best collabs. Golly. Okay, so if uh, you could put Silk Sonic in a game. In a game? What game would Ooh. you put them in? Yeah. Huh. Silk Sonic in a game. Hmm. I confused myself for a moment. 
I feel yeah. like something racing is too easy, like Need for Speed, things yeah, like, like that. Yeah, that's, that's, I feel like that's, uh, that'll count. That that'll count. You can play anything in those. <laughs> you play Gran Turismo 2? I have. They put anything in that game. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, let me see. Smash Bros. Good God, Rose. <laughs> I would love getting spiked with that. Uh, getting perfect parry to seven, this seven. bitch. <laughs> Parried. Spike. It's so good. Uh, you know what? Somebody, somebody, Death Stranding, actually. Yeah. I mean, there's, like, I would listen to some Silk Sonic and Death Stranding. I ain't gonna lie. I would. Or in, like, a heist game like Grand Theft Auto, you know? Yeah. Just specific songs, though. <laughs> yeah, not every song's gonna bang the same way in yeah, that. That ain't, that ain't more, yeah. Um. Somebody say Elden Ring, Nightwish. Uh. I would I would love Nightwish song in Elden Ring. That'd be dope. Silk Sonic for Bomb Rush Cyberpunk. Jet Set Radio like. Yeah. Hundred percent. Tita has taste. I like it. Truly like does. It. She is Tita one of the has best. Taste. That is wonderful. Which version of Nightwish? Ooh, that's hard to uh I think I would say current Nightwish. Oh. Uh, I forget her name. The the new lady. Her voice just fits Elden Ring better um, than the original, currently. Um, I think. I don't know. I'd like to hear Michael Bublé in Hades. What? When you <laughs> when you when you reach the surface, I want to hear Michael Bublé play him to give you the false sense of accomplishment. <laughs> You know, you know, you made it to the surface. Congrats to you. You're going to make it as you did, and your dad is poo. I'm going to go back to the, the pre, pre. Why are you like this? <laughs> <laughs> but it will work. <laughs> you made it up here. And then next thing you know, you're like, oh my God, I did not win. Spoilers. Uh, yeah, that's the song that you play that plays when you don't win. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to fight Michael Wubble in Hades. <laughs> Same, actually. Same. Oh, no. Nah, that's a good, good choice. Lord. Great job, chat. That was a great yeah, choice was, in the poll question. Good, okay, chat, I take it back. That was great. You're wonderful. Good job. I, I'm going to, I'm making it basically every week. I'm going to give people options, but it's always going to be this choice. I like this idea. So just for the same page. One, it's just good like, one. I like it. Okay, cool. Ray, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy evening to join us here on Wax on Wax. Drop some vacation. knowledge. Learn. I oh, sleep. you're on vacation? So, yeah. That's, I I'm actually did get the email, actually, from my, my Twitch person saying, hey, um, we ain't answering emails up to this point. So. Oh, thanks for, tell, thanks for reminding me to put my out of office. I, I, I oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to start getting those emails. I ain't put up my out of office email, so thanks for reminding me. That. But, yeah, I got you. I appreciate you for inviting me. This is great. I love this. It's, of course, man. I don't get to talk about my, my vinyl and music tastes too often, so uh, I appreciate this. Thank now you for having me on here. all you right there. Oh, it's all it's all me now. Oh, oh. Yeah, this is your uh, moment to spit some knowledge about you oh, and man. where they can find uh, you and all that good stuff. Well, hey, uh, I'm Ray. Uh, I work at Twitch in the community marketing department. If you missed that earlier, I uh, I run the creator camp, so I, I help teach people how to Twitch and how to be better at Twitch. Uh, you know, through my own expertise, which is quite high, if I might say so myself. Um, mm. I'm a scuff streamer, though. Uh, I uh. I stream every once in a while. Actually, now that I'm on vacation, I can stream again. I was gonna, but then I got sick. Uh, and so that's, that's, that's what I sound like. I don't actually sound like this, if you were wondering. But like, man, that guy's got a voice. No, I don't. My voice is actually quite uh, more annoying than this. Uh, so, sorry, and you're welcome. But no, uh, I stream every once in a while, usually on the weekends, because uh, I have a child um, who has no concept of time, and so everything is on her time. So As it should be. Yeah. Uh, this is just the way it is, but no, I love anime, love manga, love music. You like to talk about those things? Follow me on Twitter while it lasts. <laughs> <coughs> Man, yeah, Jesus no, Christ, bad. Ray. Yeah, that's just, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, perfect. So, no, hey, thanks for thanks for listening. Thanks for hanging out with us. I, I appreciate you. I know, uh, thank you, Michimochi. Yeah. Like, 
Oh, you can follow me on Twitter. You can follow me on Twitch. I'm Ray Apollo everywhere. Listen, uh, I'm also on Hive. I'm not on any of those other weird ones though that they that they told people you can't be on. Uh, uh, I'm not on those because I'm. It's too many. It's too. It's too much. <laughs> but if you if you look for Ray Apollo and you get the the, the creepy clown, it's clearly not me. Um, but if what? You get Ray Apollo and it's the black guy. It's it's fine. <laughs> oh no, I share SEO with Ray Apollo, who is uh. Yeah, I thought you would know this. Ray Apollo also doinked the clown. What? Yo, yeah, bro, that's his name. Ray no Apollo way. Is, Ray Apollo is also doinked the clown. Yeah. Oh, I should have had him on instead. Wow. <laughs> I, I thought my mic was muted. My bad. I'm you raggedy. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Thanks for thanks for hanging out with us, Chad. I appreciate you. Uh, no, Andrew, thank you for. Fat me, of course. This is good. Anyway, exactly. <laughs> this has been great. This is a lot of fun. I don't get to talk about uh, you know stuff that I I like like uh, very often, so I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you for taking time out of busy dad stuff and uh, Twitch staff stuff. Like you've been a boon, I think, to all aspects of Twitch and all avenues you've done. You, uh, as Tina actually pointed out, you did a fantastic job on stage at TwitchCon. Did a great job up there, bringing the message out to the people. Uh, thank you for following Joint the Clown as well, Tina. <laughs> Respect to that. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, thanks for dropping some knowledge and sharing that with us here, and just you know, giving us your time. Always a good look, man. It is uh, my pleasure. I love talking with I, I, you know. I just I love talking with people that I like. You're one of those people, so hey, I appreciate the time. Your time it's also valuable so thank you and thank you ray of life for gifting now five subs hey just so y'all know we're 20 subs away from doing giveaway of the vinyl which i'll give y'all like two minutes just in case but if not that giveaway is happening every show every show if we meet a sub goal of vinyl is given away to anybody who is currently present i mean if you just give it away metal gear vinyl i'll be here <laughs> you'll be <I> mean, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Like if you doing the next, if you doing like a next guest or piece now, you ain't gotta like leave me behind. I'll, I'll make sure you guys got a good home to go to. I got you. I can, I can stick around for a bit too. <laughs> hey, just to uh, stall for two minutes, then just in case, uh, what do you got next in your Twitch schedule as far as being a creator? As far as being a creator, mm -hmm. uh, we're actually if if I'm back in good health, um, we're doing our annual Christmas beer share stream uh the week of the 27th so it's me and a bunch of me and a bunch of the boys who love we we do a, i do a craft beer show uh every once in a while you too. do uh yes why didn't you promote uh, it well it's because we've been on break because we both moved like i moved and my boy sure moved and so we have been been on a hiatus for about the past three months um but no we do a craft beer show called bachelor is better um usually it's every other wednesday it's a bi-weekly show and uh this year we, we waited until we moved and now everything's settled so uh i think it's gonna be on uh, the 27th or the 28th of this month we're doing our big beer show where we have some folks coming in from out of town and we're gonna uh drink some beer have a good time talk game of the year uh it should be great it'll be the first stream from the new basement uh outside of my office so it'll be pretty dope so if you're just curious about what my basement looks like if you don't care about us. Come <laughs> see the street. <laughs> Actually, I am kind of excited to see what that basement looks like, to be honest. Yes, it's, uh, but no, it'll be a good time. Like, it's, it's usually an all-day affair, so come and go as you please. Uh, like, we, we we literally, we'll drink beer all day. Uh, we'll have snacks, good conversation. We laugh a lot. We have a good time. So come through. It'll be good. I'll, I'll post officially on Twitter when it's actually going to happen because we just, we have to decide, but... I'm rebuilding the stream computer this week, so it'll it'll it's actually happening. <laughs> I'm glad we got a sneak peek at what will not be game of the year as a heads up. Yeah, definitely not straight. All right. Uh, I, I candidly will tell you that. No. no. Stray belongs in the conversation. You know what doesn't? Xenogears three or Xenoblade Chronicles, whatever it was. I'm gonna pretend you didn't say that, and that's fine. Uh huh. Thank you, Ray, for being a guest <laughs> in the stream, promoting your content, being nice to everyone here in the chat. And give us a heads up, uh, uh, except for MD, you know, for sure. MD, I really hope that they let you out of TSA jail soon. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking about you. I'm not. Free my boy, MD, 4T. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Goodbye, Ray. Goodbye. Thank you all for being here. A special guest to me and 
our next guest for Wax and Wax episode three is going to be a doozy. Eventually, we're going to have Tina on the show. Oh, yeah. Having Tina on the show is like my new Matt Damon thing, like uh, Jimmy Kimmel does. Sorry I ran out of time to have Is Tina on the show, but except one day I'm going to have her on the show like 25 episodes later. So this is fire. I'm happy you liked it. Uh, thank you all for being here. Oh, my God, it's Twapos to Cat. And we'll see you on the next episode of Wax and Wax. As for me, I'm Okadrian. You can catch me on Twitch Tuesday through Saturday right here giving you content at whatever hours of the day. Follow me when I go live. And that's the end of the show. Follow me on YouTube for uploads. Thank you for being here. And I'll see you tomorrow for a full-fledged afternoon and evening of streaming. Until then, be nice. Make good choices. Uh, don't pay overpriced for vinyl. And play Stray. But don't play it more than Tunic. That's it. Goodbye. Get out. Thank you. Good night.